I'm recording this video from the inside of my closet. No joke, I'm literally inside the closet. Alright, let me admit something to you guys. I have a problem. Marky, what problem? Well, I'm glad you asked, kid. It's a collecting problem. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's a collecting problem? Well, have you ever thought of completing a set of cards or a set of markers? You know, shoes and stuff. That's basically it. But for me, things get a little overboard. One day when I was like, I don't know, 17? I was at the mall with my dad and something caught my attention. I saw this set of blue pencils displayed behind the window. And those pencils have different letters and numbers on the edges. They had B2, B3, B5, B6, and B8. Bingo. So I asked my dad what does those letters mean and this is what he said. Ah, check the internet. <sighs> so I did. When I got home, I searched what those letters are and those pencils are kinda unique. The pencils have different shades for each letter, so when I read that, I just had to buy them all. My high school allowance was 150 pesos. That includes the right to school, the right home, food, and uh, more food. So at the end of the day, I managed to save at least 15 to 10 pesos or sometimes None at all. It took me months to save enough to buy those pencils. Each pencil cost at least 30 pesos that time, and there were 20 different shades. In total, it's 600 pesos. Months later, I managed to buy all 20 pencils. I was so proud that I collected all those pencils from 8H to 8B. I even made my own DIY case for it. I was extremely happy. Nothing could have ruined that moment. Until art class. I told my friend all about my collection, so she asked if she could borrow one. Can I borrow your pencil? Uh, pfft, of course you can. I have at least 20. Come on, pick any you like. Don't be shy. So I lent her my pencil. Then people started asking if they could borrow one too! Me being the nice guy, I gave them my pencils. I was left with the 8H pencil, the lightest of them all. You can barely see it. I told myself this possibly couldn't get any worse, right? Well, it did! Our class ended, and I asked my classmates if I could have them back. And when I saw my pencils, the pencils were f***ing half as long as they were before! I was like, crying in the inside. But I held it in and I just walked away. And guess what? It got worse! Almost half of the set was missing! I asked the people who borrowed the pencils and they said they misplaced it. We tried finding them on the ground but we couldn't find any! My heart was shattered! All my pencils! My money! Wasted! But months later, I bought a new set and threw the old ones away. So, did you experience the same thing I went through? Or something similar? Leave a comment if you have, and thanks for watching this video! Special thanks to my friend who I call Squishy for helping with script. Wouldn't have done this without you. Also, I want to point out I stopped collecting pencils because they're expensive. You know, for a pencil. And I found out months ago that there was a 9B and a 10B. So if I knew back then that there was a 9B and a 10B, I would probably go searching for those pencils. You know, until I found one. But I changed, so that's good. And hey, leave a like. I would really appreciate if you do. And if a lot of people want me to make more of these, then I'll make some more. If you want to check out my other art stuff, you can find me in this. Have a nice day everyone. Take care.